Hello everyone, welcome along to another one of our quality videos from the King Edmund School Science channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, make sure you get all the notifications, so click the link down the bottom, okay, and the bell so you get notifications. Enjoy! Right, good afternoon scientists, I hope you had a fabulous Easter. Back to the grindstone and we have been looking at your PPE2 papers and we've seen that you are still struggling with quadrats. So I've got two videos coming up. Um, so this is the first one. So we are looking at B8. We are in the main topic of ecology. So it's that very last biology topic you did. But this is about sampling, okay? And specifically using quadrats. Okay, so this sampling word, okay, just means that you are taking a sample, you're estimating... Um, or you're trying to find out about a certain area. Okay, let's have a look here. So, students investigated the distribution of a green alga on a tree trunk. So, the students tied a piece of string horizontally around the tree. There it is. Put a quadrat on the string so that the quadrat faced south. Estimated the percentage of the area in the quadrat covered with the green alga. Repeated the observation with the quadrat facing south west, west, northwest, north, north, east, east and south, east. So all different directions. Okay, so here's the quadrat they used. We've got to describe how you would estimate the percentage of the area covered with the green alga in one quadrat. Okay, so let's imagine he's put it on his south facing first. Okay, all that we are going to do is estimate... Okay, so we're going to estimate the number of squares covered by the algae. Okay, and then we are going to divide by the total number of squares. Okay, so in this quadrat, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay. Okay, and then we would, because we want a percentage, then times by 100. Okay, so it's the same as working out your percentage in a test. You do your number or your score divided by the total number of um, marks that you could have got. Okay, in this case, it's the squares. Okay, so this question goes on to the other side. Okay, so we now have a bar chart and it's showing us all the different percentages for the different directions. So how does the direction that the quadrat face affect the percentage area covered with the green algae? Right, okay. So looking at this bar chart, it's very easy to see that the northeast has the most, whereas the south has none. So really easy two marks there. Right, so it's asking us what was the mode of the percentage area. So the mode is the most common. So we're looking for the percentage that is the most common. Well, let's have a look at this bar chart then. Well, we've got northwest and east both have 40%. There's two bars with 40%. Okay, two directions. Two directions have this value. Right, give three environmental factors that might affect the distribution of the green alga on the tree. Okay, so it is a plant. So we're going to be looking at things that affect plants. Okay, so that is... Light, water, nutrients. Okay. And then you could have had some alternatives. You could have said eaten by other animals, eaten by... So slugs, for example, or competition with other species. 